Hey, James in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Matthew here in Durham at PrePrescriptionLenses.com. And with the help of my GoPro camera, I'm going to show you how I cut non-prescription fashion lenses for your Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfair in the color 901, the classic shiny black, and the 52 eye size, which is the same size that I wear. So let's go ahead and take it out of its box. Your Italian leather Ray-Ban case, your Ray-Ban frame, your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth and junk mail because you just don't get enough junk mail in your mailbox now so they're putting it in your frames. This is the frame. Of course it comes with a little plastic sleeve on the temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And I'm going to include all the manufacturer's original packaging when I ship to you. Just an hour and 15 minute drive away from my hometown and these are your Ray-Ban new Wayfarers. Of course this is the 2132 new Wayfarer color 901 in the 52 eye size and something tells me I'm getting a phone call I hear my phone vibrating but I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna take out your original heavy glass lenses and I'm gonna cut some unbreakable bulletproof lenses to go into your frame I'm gonna put it into the tracing element of my edger and hit trace now a little stylus is gonna pop up and it's gonna go around and trace the shape of the right lens this is what everyone wants to know. How does the machine know what shape lens to cut? This is why. That stylus is going to trace the right lens before moving over and tracing the left lens. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy a genuine authentic Ray-Ban frame and you will receive free clear single vision prescription lenses or in this case non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or flex dollars, you will reim get reimbursed from your purchase. Now, these are your lenses. They are Essilor brand aspheric airwear. Airwear is what Essilor calls the polycarbonate lenses. These are transition 7 gray lenses. So I'm going to take these out of the, the protective sleeves that they come in. Of course, it comes with a little laminate on the front of the lens to protect the lens from anything that could rub against the front surface while it's shipping. I'm going to do the same thing now for the other lens. Take it out of the packet, pull that off, and if these were a prescription, I'd get them lined up in the lensometer just right so they're oriented in there perfectly, but because these are not, I'm just going to place them right onto the platform. This is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens before it is cut. That's what's going to hold it in place in the edger while it is cutting. So I need a double-sided adhesive sticker of which I've got one here. The little silver button in the back is a magnet and that does two things. I'll show you in just a moment. But I'm going to pull the paper away to make the second side of the double-sided adhesive sticky. This magnet is going to correspond with that magnet. Hold it in place in the arm. Make sure everything is lined up perfectly. Hit that button. The arm comes down and places the block onto your lens. Let's do the same thing now for the left lens. Of course this could be the right or the left. It does not matter since these are non-prescription. Let me actually go ahead and pull one of these off. This is new. You haven't seen this in my video. I used to keep all of the stuff down here. Now I've got it hanging overhead. And to give me more counter space to make a mess. Yeah, that's how that works. Pull the paper off there. Line up the magnet. Hit the button. And now the block is going to be placed onto the left lens. So, hang on, hang on. I'm missing something here. I'm missing something. Let me get my flashlight. The actual cutting wheel is in here it's on the far right hand side it's going to act like a heavy grit sandpaper to grind away your lens material this wheel in the center with that channel that valley that's what's going to put the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame so i'm going to place that magnet again the second time it's going to hold it in place in the chuck or as i like to call it the charles because i don't know the machine well enough to call it chuck I'm going to pull the shape up onto the lens. By the way, this edger costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out and buy one, put it on your kitchen counter, and then you won't need me anymore. You can cut your own lenses. So that is the shape of the lens. These are, I'm not going to polish the edges. I am not going to put a bevel on the front surface of the lens, only the back surface. I'm going to hit start. Well, the green button, which is start in every language. A clamp shuts. The lens is now going to be traced by two white styluses to make sure the lens is large enough to fit into the frame, and it is. It's going all the way around, and of course, it measures twice, measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly where to place the bevel on the lens so it fits best inside the frame. Now, you will have no edge thickness whatsoever, but if these were strong lenses, I can move them forward or backwards so they would fit best inside the lens. 
Now if you notice there's water running in the background, that's only to catch the optical sawdust. Polycarbonate cuts dry where plastic and high index lenses cut wet. So right now the edge of your lens is completely flat, just like a nickel. If I were to take it out now, it would stand up on the counter. Only now is it getting the V-shaped bevel to go into the, to hold inside the bevel of the frame. And where I run my fingernail inside there, that is the bevel. Now water is kicked in. It does that during the last 20 seconds of the cycle just to wash away any optical debris. A little car wash that's going on and now in just a moment this arm a lever I guess is the technical term is going to move forward on that wheel well on that arm you see a little wheel that looks like a, the, a grinding wheel on a Dremel tool that is putting the safety bevel it's just smoothing out any rough edges left over from the cutting surface it is doing it onto the concave surface of the lens which is the rear surface closest to your face in just a moment, this door will open. And I'm gonna grab a paper towel to dry your lens off. Let's open that up. Dry everything off. And I'm gonna tuck your lens in at the outside corner. Using my thumbs, I press down at the nose, it snaps right in. I'm gonna do the same thing now for the left lens. I'm gonna flip that over to L, put that into the chuck and hit start. Just like before, the clamp's gonna shut. The lens is gonna move up and it's gonna be traced by the two white styluses. Again, to make sure the left lens is large enough to fit into the frame, which it is. But again, also measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly where to place the bevel so the lens fits inside the frame with no edge thickness. Of course, you're not gonna get any in this frame anyway because these are non-prescription fashion lenses. But it's still nice to show you got no thickness going on. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this block off. It is no longer needed. Dry everything off. Now, because these are non-prescription, and this is a milestone, you're a fellow North Carolinian, I'm going to throw in a bonus. I'm going to include the extra glass lenses that came at this frame. Now remember, your lenses are unbreakable. They are bulletproof up to 22 caliber and have both UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin, so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes. But to remove the lenses, I'm right-handed. So I tell people you just have to thumb your nose at the idea. You're gonna place your thumb at the nose. You're gonna grab the lens by the other side. Now, you can torque the frame. You're not gonna hurt your frame as long as it's at room temperature. If it's freezing cold in the winter and you leave it out in your car, you may or not wanna do this, but all you have to do is put your other thumb on top push down and out come your lenses. To put in the original glass lenses with the logo on there, you turn the frame upright, you tuck it in at the outside corner first, and of course I'm right-handed. I have my elbows at my sides, my arms bent at a right angle. I have the side I'm working on closest to me. I'm not trying to reach across the frame, but I tuck the lens in at the outside corner first. Using the thumbs, you press down and in snaps your lens. Now this works great on the 52 eye size that you got. And again, I'm only doing this just because you are the 400th video on my YouTube channel. Great milestone, and since you're a fellow North Carolinian, and I love Fayetteville, I am a licensed optician here in North Carolina. I have to get eight hours of continuing education every year. So I go down, it's offered five or six times a year, but I do the first one in Fayetteville. Tuck it in at the outside corner, press down with my thumbs, it snaps right in perfectly. Flip the frame over, press down with the thumb, out comes the glass lens. Turn the frame around, press down with my thumb, out comes the glass lens. Let me put your transitions back in. Do that. Oops, hang on, hit that button. Hit the button, hit the button. The chuck opens up. Dry your lens off. Run my thumbnail around there to get any optical sawdust, but I get my education at Methodist University there in Fayetteville. I think it was Clark Hall that I attend the lectures in. During lunch and then dinner, we go over to Scrub Oaks. I love that restaurant. They have some fish tacos that are amazing. My wife likes this appetizer. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about you, honey. But I think it's a bacon-wrapped chicken, I believe it is, appetizer, and she just loves that. Of course, there's nothing bad on the menu there. We have a great time in Fayetteville every year, the downtown area. 
We sit out and drink coffee on the street and watch everyone walk past. We love the sidewalk cafes, everything like that. Diane's Vintage Shop has some great stuff down there. I just love shopping. Of course, the Botanical Gardens, the River Walk. There's a lot to do in Fayetteville, North Carolina. It is a great town. So these are your frames with the clear lenses in there. I'm going to go ahead and activate them and my transitions box essentially just has a strong UV light and as you will see as I activate them it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for them to darken when exposed to the sun it takes a little bit longer when you come back inside 30 I mean I'm sorry 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15 to return back to clear now this is important James pay attention all transition lenses will turn dark on day one give them two weeks they're going to continue to darken every day of exposure to the sun for the first two weeks until they get to their final setting after that they will work for years with maximum performance the only time they will not work is if you're behind the wheel in your car your windshield absorbs all the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays so your dashboard doesn't crack from sitting in the sun and that's why i'm going to throw in these glass lenses so you can have sunglasses in your car now they're also temperature sensitive so that when it's 85 to 90 degrees and below they get darker than they do when it's 95 to 100 degrees when it's 100 degrees outside you're miserable they're miserable everyone's miserable no one likes to work 100 percent when it's 100 degrees outside now this is the first time that the transitions gray lenses now these lenses are also available in a brown and the g15 green which is the newest color these eventually will get very very dark gray almost looking black matching this frame so that's it that's the first time they've been activated james don't worry just like i mentioned they're going to keep getting darker and darker every time you wear them it's like a new employee on the job you just got to train them right um but if anyone has any questions about what i can or can't do just email me at free prescription lenses at gmail.com james and fable i hope you enjoyed watching as i cut transition lenses for your italian made ray-ban 2132 new wayfair the color 901 classic shiny black and the 52 eye size and everyone else has got the chance to see how i bring that love and feeling back to glasses thank you